I'm Anna Kostic. I'm the Director of Drug Discovery and Development at the Siever Autism Center for Research and Treatment at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. I started about two years ago. Now I have a small internal team of three uh, researchers focusing on characterization of the in vitro and in vivo models of monogenic forms of autism, but we also have a number of external partners and collaborators at other institutions, as well as within Mount Sinai community. That's a very good question. There are no drugs approved specifically for the core symptom domains of autism, uh, which include uh, social communication deficits and restricted and repetitive behaviors. Uh, other medications have been approved to treat associated symptoms, uh, uh, but not really the core symptoms of autism. We're basically taking two different approaches. One is to target uh, molecular pathways implicated in the development of autism, especially in the context of these monogenic disorders that I mentioned that are caused by a mutation in a single gene. Uh, that's so-called targeted approach. We also use a, a phenotypic screening approach when we look at uh, molecules and compounds that can potentially modulate uh, uh, phenotypes uh, that are observed in cells or in animals that we use as models of autism. Uh, precision medicine uh, is a relatively novel approach in uh, treatment of human uh, disease and disorders that involves uh, characterizing uh, all the factors that contribute to an individual's uh, disease and then providing the best personalized treatment for uh, that individual. Uh, a very old uh, yet good example is the one of uh, blood transfusions. So when you provide blood transfusion to a patient, you want to match the blood type of the blood that the patient is receiving to her own uh, to avoid any kind of negative reactions. That would be an example of precision medicine. I truly hope so. I hope that we will be able to extend and extrapolate some of our research in monogenic forms of autism to a larger population or the subsets of that population by looking at the similarities between these groups, uh, identifying them based on the clinical and biomarker assessments, and then testing the drugs in the larger population. There were, of course, challenges imposed by, by the circumstances, but uh, there was a silver lining uh, in this cloud as well. We had a little more time to kind of regroup and align our, our goals, uh, to recruit our team, uh, to connect with the partners, um, and establish some new relationships. So now we are absolutely ready to hit the, the ground running on so many new projects. Uh, my favorite part is a very strong sense of uh, teamwork and also the compassion that our team has for our patients and their families. Um, this makes the work that we do uh, that much more meaningful.